Now, the incarceration rates here in Oklahoma are staggering, but what some suggest is even more so is the number of people exonerated of crimes they didn't commit. Just this year, the state released two men who were serving time for murder. One exonerated, the other given a reduced sentence. Two Works for You's Corey Duke shows us what led to their release and how new laws are helping keep the innocent from being wrongfully convicted. We've been waiting on this day for a long time. The family of Willard O'Neill torn after their loved one was locked away, convicted of first degree murder, a crime they claim he was never a part of. <laughs> Regina Edwards, O'Neill's cousin, says keeping the faith wasn't always easy, waiting for his release. Oh, it was kind of hard, it was pretty hard, but we kept it. O'Neill serving nearly 17 years in prison without parole in connection to a 2001 murder in Tulsa. His case, not exoneration, but a plea agreement led by the Oklahoma Innocence Project. We found there might, that evidence might not have been turned over to the defense lawyer for the defense lawyer to investigate. So that started what we perceived to be a Brady violation. Thank God. O'Neill's case, an example of the work being done across the state involving incarcerated people whose convictions contradict factual evidence. According to the National Registry of Exonerations, Oklahoma ranks sixth in the exonerations per capita from 1989 to 2012. It lists 36 wrongful convictions to date in the state alone. Seven of those who were given the death penalty. I thank the Innocent Project for getting me out. The number of exonerations is due in part to DNA testing and new laws enacted in Oklahoma that have led to many releases of the wrongly convicted. Just this year, Oklahoma passed a law requiring all law enforcement agencies in the state to adopt written policies on eyewitness identification procedures and electronic recordings of all custodial interrogations for homicide and rape cases. Corey, how does it feel? Take Corey Atchison, for example. You just move on. You know, keep going, you know. That's the only way you're going to make it, and I can't hold no, uh, I can't hold no good. Atchison served time in prison for the last 28 years after he was convicted of shooting and killing a man during a robbery in 1990. He maintained his innocence until a Tulsa judge ruled his conviction as a miscarriage of justice and believed witnesses in the case had been coerced. Atchison walked away a free man on July 16th. Thank you very much. The hope is that new policy will give police and prosecutors better tools to catch the real suspects while innocent people avoid wrongful arrests. Corey Duke, Two Works For You.